Hello, welcome to Spectral Compatible Comics View for Assassin's Creed Trial by Fire. So this is a five-part um, series. Uh, it com comes in from Titan Comics and of course Ubisoft. Um, for those who don't know, Assassin's Creed is probably one of the biggest selling franchises um, in recent times. Um, it's a, a very interesting uh, series set around um, the mix between computers and history and DNA and stuff. It's very far-fetched, but it's tons and tons of fun. So when this series came out, um, it would be quite interesting. Now, I love um, Assassin's Creed, the game. I think it's great. There are parts about it which which are the more, um, which is actually something that we'll talk about in a second with this series um, that I love about it and the points that I don't. And that's, we've got to be careful with that because I don't want that to completely... Um, so I'm just trying to find something on my tablet. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want that to completely cloud my judgment with this story, but I don't think it will do. But we'll see. So it's it's created um, by the gentleman who uh, who co-created uh, Kill Shakespeare in terms of the writing side, and that's uh, Anthony Del Cole and Connor McCreary. I hope I pronounce those names right. And um, it's drawn um, on the arts. Uh, the, the the actual drawing is done by New Edwards. And the uh, art is done by Ivan Nunes, so that's pretty cool. So, basically, we've thrown into Assassin's Creed pretty quickly. Um, the first two pages, basically, um, as you saw, is of a our, protag our protagonist. Now, that's not the start of the comic, but they, they cut a little bit out just to give you a little bit of a heads up. Um, basically, what we're looking at is um, a young lady uh, called Charlotte Delacruz. Uh, she's a gamer. So... Um, she's already au fait with the Animus. Now that's quite handy in a way um, because it gives us an idea. Um, it, does, it cuts out a lot of the background stuff about trying to convince her to join, to join the the, uh, the temp, uh, not join the Templars, uh, to go up against the Templars. Now, um, now I know what's I know the background and that's fine. And I think it does a good job in trying to set it out for everybody. So I'm not going to say um, it's not it's a problem. I think it's actually pretty well done. She seems like quite a likable character, and that's quite important. I think one of the issues I had with Assassin's Creed is that I love Ezio Auditore, who's uh, the main protagonist in uh, Assassin's Creed Two, Brotherhood, and uh, Revelations. I wasn't so keen on. Uh, the late ones, Edward and things like that. That's a problem for me. But she seems to be um, quite latched on, quite intrigued. Now, the great thing about this series is that they can jump forwards and backwards in time. They can go to the Wild West. They can go to um, Salem, obviously, as you can see there. So, And then that sort of balance just gives them so much more depth. Now, as you can see, obviously, she becomes a man as well. So there's they can play with anything they want to, and I find that, again, absolutely fascinating. Um, the art is very, 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 very good. Um, photo, or not photorealistic, but it, it, it does tend to be very lifelike. There's no sort of jumping around here. It is it's pretty much on the mark. So if it's a type of art style that you like, then I think most people will. Um, it can... It doesn't get too shaky, but again, with the colours there, as you can see in that that uh, the the landscape panel there, um, there's no background, but the colours can be quite vibrant. Now, problem is I'm reading this on a digital version; it might look a little bit different on the on the um, on in the paper. But I don't find that any of it completely threw me away. But I did um, have a lower setting on my on my um, on my screen in terms of uh, light, and I found that to be quite good, and it made it a little bit uh, a little bit more. Uh, it would better, to be honest, basically. Um, but the glare, I suppose, is supposed to be there. Now, this, the Astergo, Astergo um, symbols you can see reflected in the visor does hint towards the, the larger scenes. And to be honest, you know, this is going to be a five-issue series. I think it's got it's got quite a lot of legs, and I think it's something that um, I think fans of the Assassin's Creed series can can get on with it. I also think people who don't really know about Assassin's Creed might find it a nice entry point into the into the whole mythos. Of, of Assassin's Creed so definitely a good story um, again it's a very much an origin story so there's a bit of action and stuff like that but it's definitely more about the origin so thank you very much for for watching um, do take care and just if you do pick up the comic uh, don't forget to leave a little note down below uh, tell us what you thought of it and uh, we will see you again take care and good night